What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel's Avengers free roam video. So today of course we're going to be playing as Carol Danvers aka Captain Marvel from the Captain Marvel DLC pack. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, now before we start I'd just like to mention that Carol actually comes with two forms. So this is the one that I like to use the most. I think it's the coolest look and I guess it's the most accurate to Brie Larson we have in a way. Um, because obviously we don't know if she's actually going to wear the mask, but this is the masked version as well, which is still cool. I do still like it, and I like how it's going to be included in LEGO Marvel 2 as well. LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 has both of these outfits, but I figured, you know, it's good to show both of them just so you know. Just so you know they're there. Uh, but like I said, I much prefer this because it's just... I guess it's the closest to the movie, even though she's not going to have the spiky hair. Um, it's the closest we've got. But anyway, let's uh, get down to the city and stop some crime, because I love this. I love this character. I love Captain Marvel, and I am so excited for this movie. Especially after all this amazing news that came out of uh, San Diego Comic Con. I mean, it's crazy what they're doing with this character. It's so cool. So... Basically, uh, in case you didn't know, Captain Marvel is actually going to be set in the 90s, uh, the 1990s. And because of that, Nick Fury, who's also going to be in the movie, he has two eyes because he hasn't lost one yet in the, in that time. So that's pretty sweet. I'm really excited about seeing, you know, how, how Nick Fury lost his eye because obviously in Captain America The Winter Soldier, there's that famous line he says where he's like, last time I trust someone, I lost an eye. And, you know, we later see that obviously, yeah, he's not faking it, <laughs> he has lost an eye. So I'm excited to see how he lost it. I want to I wanna know. I think it's one of those questions in the MCU that needs to be answered. Um, so, I'm, yeah, I'm really excited about this movie. This and, I mean, if you ask me, Brie Larson... As Captain Marvel, that is perfect casting. I think she's going to absolutely smash it. I think she's going to be great as this character. Can't wait to see what she's up to. And I think, you know, you got to think, what if you got? you got Infinity War. Infinity War, um, forgetting all the other movies before that, you got Infinity War. Then after that is Ant-Man and the Wasp. Then it's Captain Marvel, and then it's Avengers 4. Now, what I think they've done is, basically, I think Captain Marvel is going to introduce... Captain Marvel to audiences and then she's going to appear in Avengers 4 because apparently you know Carol's been missing you know where is Carol you've got to think where is Carol it why wasn't she there for uh, the Battle of New York why didn't she help with Ultron why didn't she help during the Civil War so many questions where has Carol been and they're gonna answer that in the movie and that's really exciting it's not like a continuity uh, break or anything like that they are going to explain this all and I'm, I'm so excited to see what they how it's all explained apparently um, the theory at the moment is because there was before the, all the, the announcements at uh, comic-con apparently it was said somebody mentioned who works at Marvel or, or something mentioned that uh, it's something to do with the quantum realm that the Captain Marvel movie will also take advantage of the quantum realm, like how Doctor Strange and Ant-Man, well, Ant-Man specifically did. So that's interesting. That makes me think, what if in Ant-Man and the Wasp, there's going to be a closer t connection to Captain Marvel than we think? Totally could happen. It totally could happen, and I'd love that. I think that would be great. And the fact that the villains in the movie are going to be the Skrulls? The scrolls are part of the MCU now? That is so exciting. I, I, I can't, you know, I can't talk about that enough. The scrolls are in the MCU. I never thought that would happen, and it actually is, and that's amazing to me. It really, really is. Because it makes you think, are they going to do a secret invasion? Is one of the characters we've grown up with actually a scroll? Have they been a scroll this whole time? Have they been replaced all of a sudden? Um, I mean, there's so many questions. So many questions. It's crazy. And also, it's uh, Carol's going to be like in the middle of the Kree and Scroll War, which is going to be insane. I wonder if uh, Ronan will be in the movie. I, I guess not. I don't know if that would happen. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think he will. But it would be cool. It would be a nice uh, little cameo, I suppose. There's Nick Fury. <laughs> that was a pretty cool jump, Nick. I don't know how you did that. Right. There we go. So I haven't actually shown off much of our powers yet. You've got this uh, beam right here, 
And she's all, when you press circle, I love this move. She actually jumps in the air and smacks everything. Captain Marvel is actually part of the story of Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. So she's not going to be a DLC character or a secret character. She's part of the story, which is really cool because that's when kind of when they, you know, give the characters the most attention. Sorry, I'm off. So she'll probably be able to do everything you're hoping, which is very, very exciting. I think there's an alter ego or something of Carol's where she becomes a character called Binary. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she's evil when she's binary. I wonder if she'll be in Lego Marvel 2. That would be pretty cool. And I wonder if they'll maybe play around with that idea in the movies. Maybe not now. Like, you know, you gotta <laughs> slowly build the character first before doing anything crazy like that. Um, but it would be interesting. Thing is, with the MCU, is from what I've noticed, every character, if they get one movie, they'll get two more. It, it seems like they're the trilogies, you know, they're all getting trilogies. The only character I can see getting more than a trilogy is Spider-Man, because I just think there's more to be done with Spider-Man than just three movies. You can't do Peter Parker in three movies. You gotta do more, you know, there's so much more to do. Carol, um, you know, I love the character of Captain Marvel. Um, I don't know many characters aside from the Kree and the Skrulls and uh, Captain Marvel. Um, which I hope is in the movie, because that would be incredible. But that's about it. So I would love to see more characters that we don't know about. That's what I think is so great about the MCU, is we get to know these characters we've never even heard of, or at least I've never heard of. And then you get to know them and you love them. Um, oh, here we go, a team up with Nick Fury and Captain Marvel. Pretty cool. Alright. I'm just wanting to quickly swap to Nick Fury there, because I thought that would be fun. Whoa! I can also do this as well. I think basically what's going to happen is um, Ant-Man and the Wasp. I think that might tease Carol. That she might be in the background. Maybe it'll be an after credits that shows where she's been. And then the Captain Marvel movie will explain where she is. And then Avengers 4. That's the last of them. Or, or maybe Captain Marvel itself. You know, maybe at the end we will, you know, see her. We'll see her return to modern day. Um, like how, you know, Captain America the First Avenger had an after credits with Cap uh, waking up in modern day. They could totally do something like that. But if they're not doing that, I think Avengers 4 will see the return of Carol Danvers. There's no way they're not going to do that. They're going to get Brie alongside all the Avengers. It's, it's going to happen. It's definitely going to happen. Well, the Avengers that have survived uh, Infinity War, that is. I mean, we don't know who's going to live or die yet. I mean... I have a rough idea of a few characters that might die. Don't get me wrong, I don't want any of them to die. No, 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 I don't want any of them to. I mean, these characters are amazing. Um, so, yeah. The less deaths, the better. But of course, that doesn't work. You know, there's got to be stakes in this universe. It's not just, uh, you know, super-powered characters. They are, they still have weaknesses, and these weaknesses have to be shown. So, I understand it at the same time while not wanting it. Um, but I mean, Infinity War is going to be incredible. I don't think Carol's going to be in that. I really don't. There's a lot of people online that think that she might pop up in it. Maybe in an after credits, but I just don't see it happening. I think Ant-Man and the Wasp might tease Carol because of the use of the Quantum Realm. And chances are, you know, they're probably going back to the Quantum Realm with the recent casting of, uh, you know, Wasp. So, yeah, I, I think that's what they're going to do. It's exciting, though, because you never know for sure. You never know. Alright. How high up can Carol fly into the sky? Let's try it. I also think what's great about LEGO Marvel 2 is, you know, it's... It, this is one of the things I love about the LEGO Marvel games. You've got, you know, we're playing as Captain Marvel right now, and we're talking about the Captain Marvel movie, which is a couple of years away. But this is the great thing about these games. They prepare you for the future. And I think what's awesome about LEGO Marvel 2 is the fact that we're going to be able to play as Captain Marvel. And the costume is pretty similar to what Brie's going to be wearing in the movie. They showed concept art, which looked incredible. The only difference is her hairstyle. And if we can, like, take all of Captain Marvel's pieces and the character creator and just change her hairstyle, you could probably make a pretty decent looking... Lego Brie Larson. Um, but what I think is great about this is we're going to be able to play as the comic book Captain Marvel in like MCU locations and it kind of prepares you for what we're going to be getting anyway. You know, I think it's going to be fun running around the Kree homeworld as uh, Captain Marvel or maybe Xandar, you know, from Guardians of the Galaxy the movie. 
There's a lot of really cool stuff I'm excited to do in that game. Like, just combining comic book stuff with movie stuff. Whoa! I wanted to see if that would work, and it did. Sweet. Can she pick up cars? I've never actually tried this. Can she? Oh, she can! Oh, sweet! That's awesome. Apparently someone's getting mugged or something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's someone over here. I, I remember this area. All right, let's take them out. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm awesome. And you're <laughs> not. Nice. All right. Nick, I'll let you deal with that last person. Did you get them? Ooh, nearly. Come on, Nick, you've got this. Wow, you've got a terrible aim, Nick. You know what? Just let... Just let... Uh, I keep nearly calling them Brie. I'm so excited about Brie Larson playing the character. Um, she's gonna be so good. Perfect casting. Good going. You're like a hunter, a hunter of crime. Thing is, I think uh, Captain Marvel is going to be the leader of the new Avengers. You know, I think I know a lot of people online have been saying that they think Captain America. Uh, you know, he's probably gonna die. I think he's one of the likely ones to die, um, and he might get replaced with Bucky. Or uh, Falcon, one of them might become Cap. But I actually think maybe instead of that, Captain Marvel might become the new Cap. And I don't mean the new Captain America, I just mean the new Captain of the team, you know. Um, maybe not, but I can just see it being, you know, the new Avengers being Captain Marvel, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Ant-Man, Wasp, Spider-Man. You know, I can see it being them. And whoever else is l left, you know. Maybe some of them don't even want to be Avengers. I'd like to see some of the Guardians maybe switch teams with the Avengers. Like, if Robert Downey Jr. wants to stay on, I think it'd be pretty sweet if he became a Guardian of the Galaxy and Star-Lord became an Avenger, you know? Swap it around a bit. That'd be pretty cool. They probably won't do that, but, you know, we'll see. Because I think James Gunn said that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is the last... Uh, we'll probably see of this version of the Guardians so something's gonna happen in that movie as well I think that's gonna be a big deal as well that might be like the Guardians end in a way that th this iteration of the Guardians at least alright guys that's pretty much it for this video stay tuned for lots more videos real soon and as always please remember to like comment and subscribe